Welcome back to Fast Market M1. Kevin Hinks and Nathan Peterson back for our second segment of the show. And we're focusing on what some could perceive as a big winner in the whole UAW, the whole move from fossil fuels to elect to EVs, the old the competition question. There's so many questions, there's so many issues that we can talk about when we talk about Tesla. But the easiest one to talk about right now, it has sold off significantly in the last 10 days, Nathan, and it's eight dollars off its lows of the day to day. What are your thoughts on Tesla? Where do you sit with this EV making behemoth? Yeah, good, good question. I mean, it, it's a cold stock, you know, on, on the bullish side, you could say, look, there's so many potential growth avenues going forward. You know, whether whether it's the charging network, we got the cyber truck that's coming out. Um, our, we, uh, we've got uh, the um, all, all the area, whether it's SpaceX, all those different areas yes. of revenue of growth that they have going forward. But on the bearish side, you could say, well, the margins have been decelerating. We got a couple of uh, downgrades on the delivery estimates here from analysts this week. Deutsche Bank, uh, they lowered their price target to 285 from 300. That's not that far away from where we're currently trading. And then um, earlier in the week, uh, we had uh, Baird that on Tuesday that lowered mm -hmm. their delivery estimates as well. So on Monday, we're expected to get those Q3 delivery numbers. We had the analysts kind of lowering their numbers head into that report. So longer term, you may think that, hey, there's a lot of avenues for growth here for Tesla, but we have uh, autonomous driving. That was the third yep. component that I was thinking of that, that that's, that'll be on the, the deck there. But next week, we might get some negative reaction in terms of those delivery numbers that are coming out. So near term, you might be a little bit cautious. Uh, the stock is volatile today. You know, I sent you an example trade, Kevin. It was at 240. Yes. When I sent that, now it's at 246. So, you know, this is it's a tr it's a trader's type of stock, you know, when it has this type of intraday volatility. Yeah. Don't blink if you're if you're looking at a price <laughs> level or a Tesla. Nathan, here's the thing. There was a note out this morning from an analyst talking about the Apple car. And the basically the comment was, we have lost all visibility of any hopes of an Apple car anytime soon. So we know that the big three automakers are struggling with electric cars, right? Every time that Elon Musk lowers prices, he inhibits their ability to make money in EVs. Uh, there's so much discussion about the UAW workers and their hopes for for you know more employment while the world is migrating towards EVs and all that is in the south and away from their workers in the upper Midwest. There's so many things that Tesla's putting pressure on the big EV makers. You mentioned the charging station. How about the robo taxi? How about the, ro the, the robotics in general? There's so many things in the pipeline for Tesla that could make this stock turn around. But right now, it looks like uh, they're, they're measuring themselves with a little bit of softness here in the overall market, lowering some of the expectations. Nathan, are any of these other things a game changer for Tesla? Well, yeah, it's tough to kind of price, and I think that benefits the stock because it's so tough to price. You forgot, I think, what is it, Neuralink? Is that another one of the yes. the projects? That that one kind of freaks me out a little bit. But, uh, you know, it, how do you price that? And I think because it's difficult to kind of estimate the market. I mean, if you think about, you know, a, a world in which it'll be like minority report and you have autonomous taxis and, you know, think of the, the savings that some of those uh, companies, car companies can benefit from not having labor, but having autonomous, you know, cars going around. How do you price that in? Well, it's difficult, you know, at this point. So I think that kind of works in its favor. But, you know, the margin issue is a concern. Competition is a concern. China weakness is a bit of a concern there. So, um, you know, it, again, it's just one of those stocks that commands a premium because of the potential that lies there. And I think investors have largely been very patient with just basically uh, seeing how long it takes for that to show up on the bottom line. But for now, 
you know, it's uh, it's going to be about competition and it's going to be about, you know, does does the China recovery <coughs> come back stronger than expected? China's got some issues there, Kevin, with, sure. their, you know, the proper the property uh, headlines that are going around. So the growth in China is one of those markets, of course, that Tesla relies on. Yeah. I mean, Tesla in China is one of their big stories that could affect the stock positively or negatively puts a a fear of volatility into that name.